Who's that coming in my garden? You alright? I am. That's Glenn's arrived. Hello, mate. Hello. Nice to see you. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Thanks for popping around. Hi, Karen. So, I've got the cover off the motor here, and uh, my friend Glenn has come to help me connect my Arduino. So hopefully the plan is we're going to get this uh, remotely working with Nina and uh, Glenn has kindly come over to give me a hand as he's just done his on his obsy. He's got that work on a treat so the plan is to get this one working the same. You know, translated the Chinese. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> worked out how to do it so um, hopefully this will work. Obviously what you're going to have to do with this Simon is find a, when you fight, decide on your route you'll put a hole in the side of the cover box. Yep. And you have to rewire it back in, but obviously you can see where they've come out. Yeah. So that's your ground, and that's your uh, open close uh, switch, and they come out of your uh, your common and your normally open. I know that's the other way around to so the sensors we use, but the sensors are just telling the Arduino where the roof position is. So that's slightly different. So there's wires everywhere. Uh, yes. <laughs> Until we get it neatly put away. I mean, this was my obsy, but it looks, it looks more like a workshop. Okay, so we've got a nice little green light to tell us the Arduino has got power through the USB, because it doesn't need yeah. to be fully powered, because it's not powering anything. Right. Uh, it's just switches it's doing. One of these is going to be open, and one of these is going to be the closed position, and we've got our magnet. So I'm just going to put it with one of them, just to... It might be the right one, it might not. Right. Okay, so what we've got to do now, we've got to connect to the uh, mini PC, which is turned on. So yep. we're going to go remote desktop, going to go mini PC, and then we're going to go to Nina, and we're going to see if we can connect the uh, driver and then test it. Great. Right, well, so Glenn's about to click a button. So now this should be shut or closed. Yeah. And it works. It's working. And that's that's now the Arduino via your PC controlling your roof. That's awesome. And it stopped. And then obviously it will say shut open there because we when you put it up your magnet will then go to the other sensor here and you see it turn the Arduino off because it's now saying that the yep. the roof is now in the closed position and then on here it says Shut closed. Excellent. And so now you've got your there's your open and your closed. And so in your in your sequence you would you would put what you would uh, you would tell it shut open in the sequence and it would open shut. Fantastic. And then at the end of your sequence you just have close shut and it'll part your scope, do whatever you want to do, and then it'll shut shut the roof and then your roof will be shut in the morning. Oh, mate, that's awesome. Success. Success. Well done, Glenn. That's quite nice <laughs> to have it working when you first plug it in, isn't it? It's fantastic. A rare moment. I never that, read that. That is a rare moment. That is fantastic. When I first did mine, it went in the wrong direction and crashed <laughs> into the building. Oh, God. So, with all the testing there complete and it's all working, I've just got to tidy up the wires. This wire here, I'm going to have to bring that through the case under the motor and thread it down to here, which is where this Arduino is going to sit. I have to put the Arduino in a box. So these are the magnetic sensors which will actually tell Nina that the roof is either in the open state or closed state, so it will know um, which way to send the roof. And I've got to figure out how exactly to position these up on the roof somewhere. And that'd be really nice to know that it's all complete and working fully remotely. So I'd like to say a big thanks to Glenn for popping around here yesterday and helping me out with setting up my Arduino and getting it all connected to the rig and all that. So most of you guys who watch my channel will already know Glenn and know the Astro Blog channel. But if you're not familiar with that, I highly recommend you go and check out Astro Blog. He's got some excellent stuff on his channel. Very useful bloke, an astro bloke. And uh, go and give him a look. Hi everyone, 
It's been a few days since we last had a clear sky. Uh, now we've been told we're going to get one tonight. So the sky looks a little bit iffy at the moment, but it's supposed to clear out and should stay clear all night. So I'm going to have another go on the same target that I chose a few days ago. And that target is the center of the heart nebula. And I'm doing a SHO with my Endlia three nanometer narrowband filters. This will be night two and I'm just gonna wait for it to get dark and hopefully clear out and then we'll get this session underway. So I've labeled the switches, mains power and light. That's to stop me from turning out the power when I go to put the light out, which I have actually done and it's killed the power to the rig. So hopefully now I won't kill the power by mistake. So as you can see, I've installed the Wi-Fi camera and that's so I can keep an eye on the rig and also check that the roof is shut when it's supposed to have done. And this is connected to my phone. So this little coil of wire here is what we installed when Glenn was here last. And this is connected to the motor and it's gonna be wired up to some magnets. These are the magnets here, which is basically gonna say whether the roof is either in the open or closed position. And these magnets will determine that. And this Arduino will be connected to the mini PC with this rather long cable here. And uh, it'll all be run by Nina. And Nina will be able to control the roof, open and close the roof in a sequence. That's the plan anyway. Now we know it works because we've tested it out. I've just got to position the magnets uh, in the right place and get it all wired up. So I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but that will be happening hopefully very soon. So again, tonight I will be controlling the rig with the ASI Ad Plus, as I haven't got right into putting the mini PC on yet. So this is the frustrating part. It's just gone eight o'clock in the evening and I've got to wait until about 11 before it's dark enough to do anything. So three hours to kill, I think I'm gonna go and get a coffee. So as it's such a nice evening, I decided to go for a walk instead. Uh, the sun is getting close to setting. By the time we get back, hopefully I'll be able to get set up. Right, so we're coming up to an area where I used to rummage from. When I first started out and I had my portable rig, I used to drive down to this location and set up and I used to rummage from down these little lanes here, which I'll show you now. Right, so this is the area I used to rummage from. It's my local church down there. I used to drive down this little lane. I used to park just here on the corner. And I'd set my rig up either here or just over there. And the view I'd got here was pretty good. So I'm now walking up to the church. Uh, we can see what it looks like in daylight. It's a lot nicer to see in daylight than it is at midnight, I can tell you. It's certainly a pretty church. Got a round tower, which is a little bit special. I do plan to come back. I won't be bringing the big rig. It's not that portable, um, but I will be bringing the um, Ascar 400 and the HEQ5. It's a much more manageable rig and uh, should get some nice images from here. I plan to come back here again soon, hopefully. It's very pretty around here 
and do get a good view of the sky. So we used to come here with my Skyguider Pro and the Red Cat 51 and that was on a DSLR, a Canon 60DA. Now I didn't have a focuser um, and when I first started I didn't have any plates of them because I wasn't using the ASI Air, I was using a laptop. Um, so I used to spend many of hours trying to find my targets but then when I used the ASI Air that really helped me out here. Um, I could plate solve and find my targets much easier. So uh, that did help a lot. There's a lot of bees up in this tree. Right, home we go. I think I will have that coffee now. So unfortunately, I didn't get any imaging done at all. The clouds just never went. And it's supposed to be clear sky tonight, but it was raining about 20 minutes ago and it doesn't look like it's gonna clear up. So, look at the sky. Not the best. And the forecast for this coming week is also showers and clouds. So I have no idea when I can get back on my target. So I'm thinking that I might just edit the data I've got and uh, make the best. I know it's only going to be about five hours in total. So um, I'll, uh, I'll make the best of it. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you like the image at the end, even though it's not going to be very many hours, not as many as I would have liked. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. And of course, as always, I wish you all clear skies.